people. Happy Saturday with you guys. Cheers. Get ready to have some fun. You guys will see it in a minute. I'm going to walk you guys through how we do poor man's burn-ins. So, without further ado, let's do some burn uh, Here we go. Clean hand, beer for y'all. Cheers. Now, I've shown a lot of people how to do this, um, well, how we do it. So I'm just going to do a quick little walkthrough on how we do it so you guys can see what we do. So for beef, I always use Worcestershire as, as a binder. I don't know, it's just me. Briskets, anything beef related. This is, I don't know. I don't know what it does. I, I don't know if it does anything, but this is what I use. Um, I should have had a towel underneath this board because I'm sliding all over the place. But I don't think that far in advance, yo. I get excited easier, remember, remember. So. You hear Tiff in the background laughing at me. So, first things first. I'm going to go with my base layer. Shout out to Malcolm Reed, man. Killer Hogs is AP seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic, some other stuff in there. Um, it works great. It works great as the, your base layer. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Pop this open. And this is, how many pounds was this one, Bear? Oh, gee, I never even looked. Me neither. And I just opened it up. If I had to guess, I'd say probably about the three pound mark. It's uh, Angus, Angus beef. You're perfect. 2.94. 2.94, yo. That was a good guess. Check me out. Check me out. So, as you can see, that fast, that's that's already pulling it in. And we patted it down and everything. So, um, I'm not going to wait too long. I got the uh, Char Griller Gravity 980 firing up in the back. Now we go with the topper. My guy Brian at BT Lee's. Shout out to you too, my man. Something to beef about is perfect for all kinds of beef. So what we're gonna do. And for those that want to try this, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for you guys to check out too. All right. Um, you can thank me later. The hype is real. So I'm gonna get both sides. And I'm just gonna let this guy sit. Let it chill out. Let it do its thing. And uh, come back and do the other side. All right. See you soon. All right, y'all. Back again. Other side. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. W sauce. Whatever you call it. <laughs> then we're going to go on with the AP again. And like I said, it's good base layer stuff, man. You ain't got this salt, pepper, garlic. It's all you need. It's all it is. Um, we usually do our own. But right now, I'm just trying to empty out my spice rack. So Tiff can get me some more stuff. Um, and then we're going back with uh, something to beef about. Then, I'm going to go check on the smoker. See where we're at. And that'll be that. I'm just gonna pick this guy up or roll him around in here. Pick up some of this excess here. I don't need this glove anymore, so. It's a good way to get all your spices, you know what I mean? That's what we gonna do. All right. It's good enough for me. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go out here now. The smoker should actually be up to temp, but We'll see you in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm out here. I'm at the smoker. It's preheated to 250 degrees, which is where I want to rock this at. A lot of people do 275. A lot of people do 225. I do 250. So uh, what I'm going to do is get this thing on. I'm going to set a timer for like an hour before I put the probe in it. I don't know. It's, it's probably like the dumbest thing ever, but it just works. I don't want to sit there and watch it. Do all that stuff the whole time. So. Glove up, people. It's important. Are 
we're going to do, I know this is the hottest side of my group, so I'm going to take this fat side here and I'm going to aim it towards that. And close it down. Set a timer for an hour. We'll be back. All right, y'all. I figured I'd bring you in. I have a piece of wood in here. Good to go. All right, y'all. It's been about an hour. As you guys can see, the grill is still dialed in at 250, which is where we want her. What we're going to do now is put a probe in her. I'll run it up until I see uh, the bark that I want to get. I don't usually go by temps. I go by color. You know what I mean? Um, let me see where it settles at. Okay, right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I could just turn y'all around so y'all can see it. Let me, uh, let me do this. Oh, yeah, y'all see that? Shout out to my man Dan at DC4L Customs, baby. Love it, love it. All right, let's take you all down so you can see. All right, so we are at 250 and we are at 120 in the roast. So, that's, uh, that's where we're at. You guys take a look at it. That's it. Bring you back soon. I bring you in um, right now I'm sitting at 245 the probe is at 141 so I'm gonna do go in here and I'm just gonna flip this guy over do I have to no but I'm going to and that's it like I said I'm just gonna let it ride and uh Eventually we'll be cubing this thing up, man, for burn ends. What's going on, yo? How y'all be? Got a little uh, little update. I think I'm at the store. I believe I'm at the store. I've been sitting at 158 degrees for a grip. We're going to open it up and take a look at it. We, uh, uh, here, let's do this again. Y'all make sure you do it with me, all right? Let me show you what's going on. All right, so we're still sitting at 250, but you know, we're at 246 right now, but that will change in a second probably. Um, you see the 158. I've been chilling there for, like I said, a grip, which is fine, which is fine. Um, you know, a lot of people wrap by temperature, I wrap by color. Um, and that's got some pretty color to it. A little pooling right there, I ain't worried about that. So you guys get to see it as I see it. So, with that said, I might be pulling this off and getting ready to cube it up. I'm trying to look past the phone into the, uh, the grill. Let me get down here. You guys can see. We were down to 238. You guys can see how fast it climbs back up. Like I said, we're set at 250. And uh, yeah, it's real time, folks. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> there you go. So, like I said, the uh, recovery on this thing is awesome. It, it basically stays where you put it. I have no complaints at all. Uh, I'm actually like looking around the house just trying to find shit just to throw on it. Um, I keep looking at my dogs, <laughs> but uh, I'm playing, I'm playing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted you guys to see where I was at. But like I said, I'm probably just gonna pull this off now and uh, get it cubed up. Time to make it ours, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget you Check it out, check it out. Yes, sir.
Yes, sir. Ah, right. talk to you. We're going to check on the progress. We are out of the stall. We have hit 168 degrees internal. So we're going to take a look. Let me see what you guys are saying. I'll tell you what. This thing looks excellent. Give me a second. What do we do? I'm going to grab a lighter. And a glow so you guys can see what we're working with. Actually, so we can see <laughs> what we're working with. Because this is the first for me too. We're going to see what we get here. Y'all see this? That is a beauty. Um, like I said, right now I have the temperature. I have the probe set for 180, 185. We'll see where we go. All right. Y'all, so my beautiful is about to come over here and cut this up. Because she says the chunks I'll make are too big. They're massive. You be quiet. So we'll let her go. Hot. If she says it's hot, that means it's really hot. Juicy. It is hot. <laughs> nice smoke ring too, huh? Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Very hot. Too steam. Yeah. You wouldn't have died. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all, I'm doing my part. Keeping his hands safe from the hot meat. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. So this is the beginning of goodness. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it ours. All right. See you in a second. All right, y'all. We're back. Now I'm getting ready to uh, basically make this our own. So cheers to you. Which side on? This side. All right. Oh, that was messed up. Cheers. There we go. All right. Okay. So what we're gonna do, everybody knows I'm a butter freak. So, butter it is. Once again, a whole nother stick. I know y'all, I know. But the butter just gives the richness. So, that's what we're working with. All right, then what I wanna do, I'm gonna add more of the Pit Boss Maple Chipotle rib. And you guys notice, Lid wide open, man. We're going in. It's only tasted it out of the container. And it's it's got a it's got a great flavor to it. It's got a great flavor. So I'm hoping everything works out the way I'm thinking. Okay. Next thing. Brown sugar. Some brown sugar up in here. guys know uh, like brown sugar too. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Now, get some honey. That'll help balance out any spice or, you know, add a little sweetness to it anyway, so. Beautiful. As you guys noticed, there's no measurements here because, you know, who needs them? And then, going SBR, man. This stuff is 
this was like the main sauce that I used um, for, for like barbecue things. I really don't sauce too many things, but uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's my jam. Then, do this, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit, get everything coated up. Now when you add your sauce, you don't want your your burn ends floating in it. I mean, just want enough to get them all coated up. It's going to give you the best bite. Let it tack on there, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm just going to... Got butter? There we go. Try to keep the butter to the top so it melts down. And that's it, man. Let me take this off. Pick it up so you guys can see what I'm working with. I did uh, crank the smoker up to 275. That's it, man. I'm going to wrap it for the first, like, 20 minutes or so. Then I'll take it off and I'll see where I'm at. But that's it. See you soon. My people. I had to duck underneath, take my head off, you know what I mean? What's happening? What's happening? All right. So we're back here at the uh, Char Griller Gravity 980. Um, <clears throat> remember I told you guys I was going to bump the tip up to 275 and we are at 275 I'll let you guys see what we're looking at which is absolutely nothing it's just wrapped up we can't see anything I plan on letting this rock out I'll probably come out and check it after uh, maybe 40 minutes 45 minutes or so um, yeah. I'm going to take the uh, the foil off I'm gonna start mixing it up. You know I mean, right now I want everything to melt together. Um, and then after we do that, we'll let that cook without the foil for a little bit. And then we'll start uh, checking for uh, tenderness, squinginess, squingy, squingy. And, you know, once we get to where we want them, that's when we'll pull them. All right? Talk to you. All right, y'all. Final product. Y'all see that? They're still on the hot side. Y'all know me. Y'all know me well. So, you also see, I got a glove on. You know, gotta protect myself. But let's see what we got. Oh, shit. Look at this. I can't even grab this, Joe. I'm gonna try to stay over top of this pan. Because I don't want to hear Tiff's mouth. Y'all see this? See that? Let me grab this just so uh, y'all can see me. All right. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all too. As my man child would say, it's orgasmic. <laughs> Oh my God. Hold on, one more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holler back.
Fight, 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 fight,